Hey shooters, it's Rob Frillo from the Marksmanship Academy and I got some exciting news for you today. I'm here in Quebec, Canada with my friends at Cadex and Serge and the guys just announced a new multi-caliber system called the Kraken. And I got to tell you, I'm extremely impressed by all the work that they put into this and the ease of changing out the barrels. Before we get started, uh, I want to say we've cleared the gun, we've got all our tools here. We're going to start by changing out the system. All of the components that we're going to change are to our right. As we change them out, the system that we're changing is going to be placed to the left. We'll start with our magazine. We're going to take our magazine, we're going to remove our bolt, place it to the left. Now, we have to change out our magazine housing. We're just going to take our rifle, lay it down, and this is a pretty neat tool that the guys have designed. It's our torque tool, but also we have our Allen key machine into the base. So we just place that in. It's a one screw removal of the magwell. Just remove the screw. Take that screw, place it forward so we can keep a grip on our equipment. Move our detachable base plate. And there's our 308 magazine sleeve. We're going to take our 308 insert and again place it to the left. These are all the components that we're changing out. Now we're going to take our 300 Norma and it's indicated with the markings on the side. We're going to insert this, our magazine catch release, back towards our trigger assembly. We're going to insert. You make sure that's tight. Place it back down. Now when you're doing this, you want to make sure it's fully to the rear and lined up on the bottom. We're good. Take our screw, insert it back in, get our torque screw or torque uh, tool. Now, this isn't a torque controlled tool. It's basically just hand tight. That's it. It's not going to back off. This uh, portion of the chassis isn't under tension. Now, next thing we're going to do is make sure all of our components that we're going to be installing for a multi caliber system are correct. So we have 300 Norma bolt. And we have our 300 Norma barrel. Now the next step is we're going to take off our existing barrel. We have some pretty unique torque wrenches that the guys at Kdex have designed. We have to use the indentations on here to fit into our torque tool. The top is marked up so it's kind of foolproof. Just like how our bolt works for the locking pin that inserts into this groove. It's pretty simple. So first thing, insert our torque tool, just like the bolt. Spin for our locking lugs. Locks into place and you'll hear that click. Just move it back and forth to make sure it's locked in there. Take our torque wrench. What I want to demonstrate here is the tools fitting into the recess. Now. We're going to be detorquing. So when you're detorquing, you're going to go all the way to its lowest setting. Okay. And there's a fail safe on here too as well so that we're not going to damage our scope. Pull up. There's a break. But look, if you move this all the way up, it's not allowing protection for your optic. It will not go any further than this position. So you don't have to worry about damaging your main tube on your, your optics. Place your tools down. Next thing we're going to do, now that this is loose, I'll show you what's happening inside. And this is kind of unique. We're going to talk a little bit why our multi-caliber system surpasses everything that's on the market right now. Okay. So you saw me insert the torque tool into the action. Now, when you look forward into the action, you can see that the recesses for the torque tool, how they're fitting to the locking lugs, when they spin inside, this is basically grasping, let's remove our thread protector, the recesses onto the barrel. So they fit in here. That's how it's able to grab that barrel and torque it either on or off. It's 
So let's insert this torque tool again. Okay, again, we're going to spin it and make sure those locking lugs fit in correct. Nice click. Okay, before we remove the barrel, this is important. Before we remove the barrel, you can see how it's spinning. We want to depress our bolt catch release, pull to the rear slightly so that disengages. Okay, just about an inch. So now this is free from our barrel. We're just going to spin off the barrel. This comes off extremely easy and quick. We're going to remove our barrel. Again, all the components we're removing, we're placing to the left so we don't get them mixed up. Confirm, we want to install a 300 Norma system. We're going to insert the new barrel. Now, there's two ports on each side. I can line up the barrel as it moves into the action. This is very, very simple. And I can make sure that the locking lug is compressed against our chamber. Okay, nice and hand tight. That's it, it's that simple. We're gonna take our torque tool, insert back in, and adjust the lugs so that they go into the recess. That nice, solid, positive click. Adjusting it back and forth, it doesn't move. We're gonna take our torque wrenches. Insert, now, before we want it to deco or, uh, detorque, now we're gonna to torque it on. We wanna increase that leverage. So we're gonna to go to our highest torque position, which is there. Now this is pretty unique. As you can see, we have two lines. So when I torque, the barrel on, there's two lines that match up. You can see that. That's it. That's 100 foot pounds of torque. That's all that's required to lock the barrel on. We're going to remove our torque wrenches and remove our torque tool. We're going to take, confirm, 300 Norma, take our bolt. Make sure that the recess is lined up with our bolt catch release. Decompress my trigger. Make sure our magazine fits into the housing. That's it, folks. That's a 100% system change from 308 to 300 Norma. I cannot begin to tell you how easy this is for the end user to do this on their own. Serge and a team have not only come up with an easy system, but a consistent system every single time you torque on the barrel. And how they did that was they put our recoil lug onto the barrel. So this is the only system that's out there that's designed like this where you torque it on and it's consistently that one thou every single time. So other systems that are out there that slide into a sleeve that work on compression or have some sort of locking nut are not as consistent and precise as this system. So we're going to be taking this out to the range and we're going to test it out and uh, we'll give you some feedback on the range. All right, shooters, until next time, Rob Furlan from the Market Ship Academy at KDEX in Quebec, Canada. We'll see you soon.